I was, my foot was in the hot tub, you know, and had to run up there and hurry up. So I could have a chance to put him on this off. Just being a guy, uh, not from Alabama, just what, what have you learned about this iron ball robbery and what it means around here? Um, since I've been here as a freshman, even like during the COVID season and everything like this, like this is like one of the biggest games. You know, this is like one of the one games that people like, it means something. And Coach Saban always says, like, you remember about what you do in this game. If no fans or anybody else remember it, any other game you play in, they're always going to remember the Arby game. So, you know, it means a lot to a lot of people in this town. It should mean a lot to you. Over here, Michael. Not a loving game into the season. What's the biggest challenge this year? The way teams have, have they changed the way they've blocked you? What's, the, what's this year been like for you? It's, it's been different. Um, uh, I wouldn't like the block has been the same, uh, either double team, triple team. Uh, mostly, sometimes I like even though like they don't even run to my side sometimes. But uh, I, you know, I just have to go out there and you know whatever every play coach calls, just do my job and do the best of my ability to you know help my teammates out and you know uh, help them do uh, their job and everything like that. So it's been good, it's been fun, it's been a great challenge, and I think I learned to embrace it instead of letting it frustrate me. Do you think it's frustrating if they're double triple teaming like that? Uh, sometimes, but then it just opens doors for other guys on our defense to go in and make plays and help the defense as well. We asked Bryce, so I figure I'll ask you too. Have you given any thought to this possibly being your last game in an Alabama uniform? And will it be your last game in an Alabama uniform? You know, I haven't uh, made any decisions yet. I've just been real focused on this season and, you know, continue to be a good leader, you know, making sure that, you know, I'm showing guys the right way of, you know, how to do things around here. But um, it's been a great time, you know, here. Uh, uh, playing in Brian Denny has been fun, so many memories. And, you know, I just want to keep those memories going. So it's been fun, and I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Over here, Charlie again. Kind of sticking with that, is, assuming you go to the NFL after this, just how special is it to be the Iron Bowl here final game of Brian Denny, and how much are you looking forward to that? You know, I'm looking forward to it as much. Uh, you know, we was just talk, uh, joking about it in the weight room uh, last game. Me and Harry got, got a chance to actually just sit down and just take a look at the whole stadium. And we were just laughing about it, because it's like, you know, this is what you dream about as a kid. Um, you know, playing football in the backyard with your friends and everything, and you get these moments like this, and you know, it's just a dream come true. But it's been a really blessing. I got a uh, chance to meet a lot of great people, build relationships with them, and that I hope it lasts forever. Go back, Carrie. I will talking about living in the moment, um, just playing in an iron bowl. How can you explain that to people, and just how much uh, do you lean into the extra juice that surrounds this game? You know, this is like one of the biggest games in the country, you know. Uh, uh, it means a lot to a lot of people here. I know it means a lot to uh, people in the facility and the players. Um, but to play in another Iron Bowl, you know, it's going to be good. Um, Harvard has a really good team, uh, a really good coaching staff and everything like that. So it's going to be a good challenge for us, but we're ready to accept the challenge and go out there and play to the Alabama State. Go back with Steven. Well, did you see the Damon Payne celebration after the fumble recovery? <laughs> and then uh, after that, being able to get those turnovers against Austin P. Like, how can teams just have more <coughs> Get those turnovers. Yeah. Uh, at first, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was a little bit shocked. I didn't know what he was doing down there. Like he was swimming backwards, and well, I don't know what was going on. But it was funny. But just to see the excitement on the sidelines, the excitement from the older guys, how proud they were of him, how uh, Byron Young and DJ Dell, how they got there and cheered him. I think that's what it's all about. You know, making sure that those young guys have the foundation to know, like, we got y'all back. We know how to have fun too. And we all make plays. We're gonna be right there with you. And uh, I think that's something that's really big, turnovers. You know, it helps the offense, you know, go down there and do what they need to do. And we just got to create more uh, turnovers and uh, help the offense and, you know, get them on the field and stuff like that and take away the ball and possibly score on defense. But, you know, it's all fun and we love to do it. Over here, Nick. Hey, well, uh, last year in the Iron Bowl, uh, obviously a few freshmen in Kool Aid then, Jacory had some really big plays. Yeah. Um, what, what can young guys or underclassmen learn from what they did last year as far as coming up big in a big game and, and uh, making plays? You know, always be ready when your uh, number is being called. Uh, I think that's one thing coaches have been trying to stress, and I think that's one thing leadership has been trying to stress is that you never know when somebody's going to go down, uh, no matter if it's a big game or, you know, a small game or anything like that. Just always be ready when your number gets called. Um, I think some of the freshmen are doing a pretty good job of doing that so far. I think they've been watching the older guys a little bit and, you know, taking notes of that on how to do things the right way. And, um, I'm super proud of these guys, and they've been doing a really good job. Anything else for Will? One last one back here. Okay. Well, you did say that you had a one favorite moment in an Iron Bowl game thus far. What would that be? Um, 
I know the one from last year at the team. I would just say at the team, when Kool Aid got that stop, um, he, had, um, he defected the pass in the end zone, and then when Bryce went down in the offense, went down and scored. I think those two moments were the biggest moments ever, and that's just at the team. Um, I was so happy. I was like just so up. I know Bryce like one of the first people I hugged, but those moments right there are moments that you know you cherish very, because those are the moments that you have with your brothers that you spent all all season working hard with blood, sweat, and tears, and it's hard and everything like that. So those are the moments you don't take for granted. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>